What up Long Beach? Welcome back to the562.org. It's Tyler and this boys soccer highlight is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company. All of the 562 soccer coverage this year is sponsored by Beach Football Club and all of our coverage of Cabrillo is sponsored by the Cone family. On the West, an exciting matchup coming at you between Cabrillo and the visiting Oxford Academy, the number one team in Division 7. The Jags have been scoring well this year. They've got 30 goals in the first six games. Senior captain Martin Robles Ruiz has 11 of those. And uh, the Jags were on the front foot early, but pick up a couple of offsides calls uh, here early in this. Just a little bit eager to try to get on the score sheet. Uh, which is understandable, and they were certainly the uh, more creative and dangerous side, as especially on that left wing, as Alex Medina is going to find Nathan Mosqueda, crosses it into Jose Garcia. A couple of chances here. Can't quite control the rebound as it's cleared away, uh, but pretty good chances there for the Jags. Now with five minutes until the half, breakthrough comes. Mosqueda is going to cross it. It'll come back to sophomore Jesus Torres, and Chewy is going to put it on a platter for Mosqueda to head it home and put the Jags in front 1-0. That's there in the 35th minute as they would take that 1-0 lead into halftime. A deserved advantage for the Jags, though they weren't their sharpest in the first half. After halftime, the Jags came out firing. They had four shots on goal in the first 10 minutes. This one from Ruiz. Then it's Dewan Baker who's going to tee it up from outside. Mosqueda tries to capitalize on the rebound, but again, can't quite force it home. So it felt like more goals were coming for Cabrillo. Off the corner kick, a free header for Alan Flores, but it's saved. <laughs> a kick save right there. Really one-way traffic for the Jags. Javier Palomares going to get a good look, but he's denied by Marius Sobramasana, who had seven saves in that second half for the Patriots. And if you don't put your chances away, sometimes against the run of play, the other team will equalize. And that's what Oxford does. Carlos Miranda with the goal it's on the Patriots' first shot of the game were 1-1 just short of the hour mark. But the Jags just kept playing and full steam ahead as they racked up 11 shots in that second half. Ruiz gonna fizz this one over the crossbar and they stuck to it. Now with just two minutes left, Baker going to try to cut it back and earn a corner kick, and he would take advantage. A beautiful ball back post. Moises Estrada waiting with the header, and that would be your winner in the 79th minute. You can see the relief. Whew. Jags really felt like that goal may never come, but they got the winner. They've scored at least two goals in all seven games thus far as they improved to 5-1-1 one, and one on the season with a 2-1 victory over Oxford. I want to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, for their support of local sports coverage. And if you want to keep up with the Jags, more league soccer, and all other sports in Long Beach, got to stay tuned right here to the 562.org.